What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. It's me. It's me, guys. And uh, as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about flirting don'ts. I'll give you some tips, right? Some flirting don'ts. Things not to do. Things that are going to ruin every single thing that you uh, you worked so hard for. And he's going to look at you like, what the hell are you doing, okay? So I, I am very qualified to give this because I my flirting skills for the longest time were kind of eh. Like, like here's my wink. Like, I can't wink. Uh, I look like there's something in my eyes, so I don't wink ever. Uh, that's a tip before the, we even start. If you can't wink, don't <laughs> don't wink. Oh, for the love of God, you look like you're fucking um, like you're twitching or something. But before we even get into it, if you can, please subscribe. Just click the red button below. Also, in my uh, description is a free ebook, 254 pages, absolutely free. Talks about everything we talk about in my videos, and of course my. Uh, on my email or phone sessions if you want to have a problem or situation resolved or fixed or come up with a solution or just vent, right? You can talk to yours truly. So jumping into number one, don't not make a move. Let me tell you something, ladies. You, you will be in the friend zone if you do not make a move. Friends don't kiss. Well, some, you know what I mean, like pure friends. Pure friends don't kiss. Pure friends don't fill each other up. Again, pure friends. I know friends with benefits or friends who might have some attraction toward each other, they might, but most of the time, pure friends don't, uh, you know, don't uh, kiss, don't make moves, uh, so on and so forth. You have to make a move. If you do not escalate, you will lose attraction. It's simple as that. That's just how it works. The guys get bored. I'm not saying you have to sleep with a guy. I'm not saying you have to pull his pants down, do whatever he wants you to do. That's not what I'm saying. But you do have to have that that sexual chemistry, that sexual tension, like I always say, that masculine and feminine energy and vibe going on. You have to make it feel like it's going somewhere. Um, and I just don't mean that sexually. I just mean that in general. Like you obviously know if you kiss the guy and it's a good kiss that that relationship is, you know, that just took another step. To, it broke barriers. That's another reason why, right? You want to break barriers. But you just feel better about the relationship in the, or the uh, the first date in general. So I always say don't not make a move. You kind of have to make a move. The second thing I would say is don't try too hard. When you start trying too hard, guess what? Here's that scale again. Here's that hand scale I got going. You, bam. You start to give him, he starts to get all the way up here, gets a little value, gets a little more social proof because he knows you're trying. He, it's, There's nothing wrong with letting a guy know you like him, but when you're trying hard, then you become a try hard. And that is not attractive. It will lower your value because there has to be a reason why you're trying so hard. Like I always tell women, don't unless it's something like a praise, like you know, you're like you're praising his masculine energy, like his providing and satisfying, like if he fi fixes the kitchen sink, or if he takes out the trash, or he takes you out. You can thank and praise him, but when it's something else, don't, don't just don't try hard. Don't react. Just be like. Like don't don't let him you know knock you off your feet. Just remain stable and be like oh you know okay yeah, just just be loving, caring, and fun with it. L live in the moment. Do not try hard. Once you do, guys can be like okay. There's a reason why she's trying hard. What the hell is she doing? It's uh it's not pretty, and it will pretty much go uh downhill from there. The third thing I would say is to not win him over with your body. Now, as you know, if you do that, you will probably be in the uh, fuck buddy uh, category. Because like I always say, I don't know if you guys watched my video on this before, but you know, I have three categories people are usually in. Friends with benefits, friend zone, and the uh, girlfriend material. And when you're winning a guy over with your body, you're... you're you're going your your only value your only bargaining chip is pretty much your body if you lack the the personality and the the chemistry and the rapport and you just focus on like you know you and your low shirts and you know and there's nothing wrong with showing curves and 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 you know uh in your body off if you have a beautiful body that's great um but don't let that be your bargaining chip. Again, you, I, I would say do show your body off a little bit. And again, I, I mean, you can wear a turtleneck. You just know what I mean. It's how you, how you, uh, you kind of just 
uh, carry yourself, your body language, your, your allure. That will always attract men because men just naturally go toward, towards curves. But, uh, you know, you know what I mean, right? Just don't use your body as your main chicken, right? That's what they call it, your main chicken. Don't use your main chicken out. Don't don't put your main chicken out in the beginning. You will lose the guy. Uh, actually, you won't lose the guy. You'll get the guy, but for the wrong reasons. Then you wonder why he's gone because you have the personality of a wet mop. But he's like, oh, you know, her body's hot. So then he'll start to orbit because you're boring as hell. He'll come by, hit it. Then he'll go back out. Then come by. You don't want that, okay? You will save all that if you uh, just focus on living in the moments, having fun, and hanging out, and then just looking good, just being your natural self. Do not win him over your bar, your body, because that will be your bargaining chip. The next thing I would say, number four, is do not wing it. You always have to have a game plan. Always. Now I'm not saying sit there with a pad while you're talking and you're flirting and write everything down, but practice flirting. Practice uh, your comebacks. Practice what to say if a guy asks you, are you talking to other women? Or, sorry, if you're talking to other women, I know what the guy's going to say. But if you're talking to other men, um, what are you going to say? What are you going to say when he has a sharp comeback? What are you going to say when, or what are you going to do when he does this? What are you going to do when he does that? You have to make, you have to be, it's real improv, right? To be good at uh, flirting, you have to be really good at improv. So I would practice a lot of improv. I'll look in the mirror and see how you carry yourself, how you hold yourself, what you look good and what you don't look good at, how you look at them, different ways of looking at them, your smile, different smiles, different laughs. Tr Wing it is not a game plan, right? Wing it is not a game plan. You have to come up with a game plan and you have to have a goal at the end. Your goal is to attract them. How are you going to do that? Just sitting there and thinking, oh, I'm just going to wing this, this talk. I'm just going to wing this. I'm just going to wing that. It's not going to work. Number five, I would say is do not try to get him to open up. Listen, don't, don't, don't do it. Your job is to sit there and to, like I said before, have fun and hang out. Don't try to get him to do something that's just not natural to him. When he wants to open up, he will open up. Forcing it causes tension, creates tension. It, it, it It's unnatural. It jumps over hurdles that shouldn't have even been there. And he's just like, what's going on? This is not flirting. Holy shit, it just got us serious all of a sudden. Don't bring up relationships. Don't bring up titles. Don't ask after sex, so what are we or where is this going? Don't ask any of that. Just let it unfold naturally, right? You should. Here's the thing. You know you're doing it wrong if you have to ask those kind of things because... If you did everything right in the beginning, the value, the social proof, the sex appeal, the, you, you have the best personality, rapport, uh, communication, chemistry, you're great with body language, you have, a great converse, you have great conversations, all these kind of things. You carry yourself well, you, you have a good uh, financial, whatever it is, right? All these things. If you do all that right, you shouldn't have to ask these other questions because you already know you're the fucking shit, girl. Come on. So make sure to uh, not try to open him up when it's just not natural or he's not ready to and finally and i would probably say the most important besides number one i'll say number one is the most important but this one also don't have any regrets listen if you want to go for that kiss go for that kiss if you want to say something besides what i said just in the last uh uh um number say it again unless it's that last one say whatever you want do whatever you want have fun, hang out. You know, you don't want to live on your deathbed looking back, thinking, oh, I should have done this, I should have done that, I should have made this move, I should have made that move, but I was afraid of looking like an idiot, I was afraid of uh, what he would think. Listen, who cares? Just do it. You will live a lot better of a life if you let go of regret and you just do what you want to do. So with that being said, that was uh, six, six flirting do nots. Uh, that I think will help you out greatly. They helped me out, and I'm telling you, they are they are uh, boner boner shrinkers. They are uh, killers. They will make the guy run away if you do more than one. Especially, it's just not um, practical. It's not natural. All these things I say, if you do them or if you don't do them, then you will probably get a lot further with the guy. With that being said, I love you, ladies. Take care and peace.